I'm sure it's like a scrub brush like to wash well. your face and to cleanse it and moisturise it. Yeah. It's cool. You might have some products in there that you can use that with as uh -huh. well. So. Yeah. Cool. She's so cute! Let me see. Wow. Yes, she is, Isla. Oh my gosh. So, so far. I've got your cat. You're going to get your other ones. So far. Yeah. I love this one. <laughs> there we go. I've got a Yay. purple passion bath bomb. Mama. Does it smell good? Mm, yeah, Hagrid! It really good. Oh, it's really nice. I got in my bracelet when I got Hagrid. <gasps> Whoa! That's I a love cool this little one. touch What have you think, I love them. Whoa, I love well them. nice. I love this charm one. Because it's just like jewelry. It is. Can you it's really cool. Well, we're going to put this one. I love how Jay's like his little cars in the morning. It's so cute. <laughs> what colours have you got, Jay's? Hmm. Car colour! Car colour! <laughs> Do you yeah. see where's the red one? Yeah! yeah. We got honey. Oh, I just love the smell of it. It smells delicious. The whole kitchen honey. smells Hello. delicious. Oh, yeah! Every time I touch it, it just bursts out into like Whoa. loads of smells. So okay. nice. Okay, well, what did you get? Yeah. <gasps> Whoa! Wow, it's, it's a bath bomb. Mango. Oh, oh, oh that would be so nice. Number three. That kind of mango that really so nice. Aren't they? I got this bath toy. Whoa, yeah. that's so cute. It's a magic unicorn, so I'm guessing. Yellow. Now, I think it, when it gets in water, it lights up. That's Let's have a look. <gasps> Whoa. That is the best beauty advent calendar, the bath. Advent calendar in the whole world. So that is so cool. Okay. Jeez, we forgot about Peppa. Oh, we got Peppa. To find number three. I'm so bad at finding them. Yeah, look. I didn't even know that it has facts here. 
Wow, and that's the cool. One. Let's get one out. One out. Ready? Pull the Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus is just pulling a whole advent calendar apart. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> you do that, this? Eight space cups. <laughs> Jesus removed his whole calendar. <gasps> oh, it's a candy cane! Wow, Jesus! Oh, thank you! Wow. No, oh, no more! It's all gone! <laughs> Eight space cups! Yes. 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 I love the cars back now. Did you broke your calendar? So Ella wanted to give you her spacecraft of the day. There's like, there's, okay, so should we start with number one? Because I haven't done this. Okay, you can do number one. The moon has no atmosphere. That's true. I'm going to do this. Okay. <laughs> Eight spacecrafts has, has, have visited Jupiter. Wow. Okay, we'll do this one. Should we do it today? It's yeah. Mm. Okay. Did you know most asteroids orbit the sun in the asteroid belt which lies between Mars and Jupiter? Ooh! And um, my favourite thing is definitely just ripping the tinsel off. Tinsel. Like, um, Tin foil. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and of course we also got a new book which we'll open yeah. later tonight. What's that, Isla? What is it? Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> Enjoy! Oh my goodness, I love walking past that Christmas tree. Honestly, it's the nicest Christmas tree. Probably the nicest one we've ever had. I absolutely love it. I love the pink and white. It just reminds me of like a snow Christmas. Speaking of snow, it's due to snow in the next few days, guys. Prinny, are you just waiting to pick up Jace's dinner, breakfast? Oh. Why you got puffs on your back, Prinny? No. Does anyone else's dog end up with anything the children are eating on their back? Because Prinny literally sits below the seat waiting for any droppage and then she's right there but sometimes the droppage actually lands on her. These two have been playing the whole time. Oh, oh, upstairs. Yeah, so I went Esme one of here and then yeah. I'm playing with Ginny and um, Fleur. Cute. Yeah. Yeah. Fleur. I did her a lot. But she's my sister. Again. Yeah. Uh, Jace is still absolutely loving his cars. Are you gonna girls gonna go and get ready then so we can start some schoolwork? I'm fine, Kadabra. Stupid Are you gonna get dressed today, Jace? What do you think? What do you, do you wanna get dressed today? What's up with your eye? Jace, look at mama. What's, you hurt your eye, darling. Has he scratched his eye in the night or something? That's red. He thinks he's, he's trying to get his nip. Oh my gosh, guys, last night. What you want, darling? Do you want a ninny out your ear? I don't know if you guys watched the vlog when we explained that one day when we were on our road trip, Chris, for some reason, I mean, I know my granddad used to do this to me, but Chris, Jace wanted his dummy, which he calls a ninny, and <laughs> for some reason, Chris pretended to pull one out of his ear, you know, like, let me have a look, let me see. <gasps> Whoa, what was that? And Jace just thought it was the best thing ever. Like, he was amazed. He was like, <gasps> and he burst out laughing. It was so cute. Oh, yeah, what, darling? What do you want? Nini. Want a ninny. So now Jace thinks that all ninnies are in his ear. And <laughs> every single time he tries to pull one out of his ear, it's just the most hilarious thing. But sometimes if there's not one around, I'm like, what am I supposed to do now? I can't just magic one out. But last night before bed, we were reading him a story, me and Chris on our bed upstairs. And he had a dummy in. And then I said, we're going to go get in your big boy's bed now. And he took his dummy out and he went, bye bye, ninny. And started to try and push it in his ear. <laughs> He tried to, he's like, bye bye, Nini. And, and like, pushed, like, oh my gosh, you're so sweet. I was like, no, we don't put it back in there. Nini. 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 Right, come on, guys, let's go and get ready for the day. I really need to leave and go to the office and get with some work, but I don't want to. <gasps> what is it? It's Grinchy. Is it the Grinch? We're watching the, um, it's, we don't want to watch the, um, the, the real one because the movie that's like one. a tradition, but we're watching the, yeah, we're watching the animation Grinch and Jace loves this movie. And I love this movie and the and this living room at the moment feels so Christmassy and snuggly and cozy. Jace has been so snuggly today. It's due to snow soon as. I really want to stay here in the nice and warm and snuggle and watch Christmas movies, but I can't, I need to go to the office. I got too much to do today. I'll leave you with Isla to watch it. <laughs> Do you know, fun fact, when Isla was Jace's age, she was obsessed with ears, even younger than Jace. 
and Jace is slowly moving from nipping arm. He would still rather have an arm. Wow. But when there's no arms available or no necks available, <laughs> he'll he'll nip ears and he'll pull his own ear. And it's so cute. It just reminds me of Isla when you were a little. What is it? Is it a hovel? Snowball fly. <laughs> I traded places. Isla's got some good sister dedication going on. She's even taken her earring out. Oh, woo woo. She's even taken her earring out so we can pull it with comfort. <laughs> You're a good girl, Isla. What is it? You guys have fun watching The Grinch and I'll see you soon, okay? We can do something really fun this afternoon, okay? Anyway, I'm back from the office. Yay! Yay! That literally took most of today, but... It's still light. Well, but it's very rainy today, but it's still light outside. It is. It's not and I'm, I'm completely caught up now. So all the yes! orders made before up to the hooded blanket, the snuggle hood, and the orders after then, if it's like one order, one snuggle hood, they've all been shipped to the post office. If there's more than one product, like two snuggle hoods, or a snuggle hood and a blanket, or a snuggle hood and a floor lounger, etc., they need to go via courier. Because they're too heavy, basically. Because they're too heavy. If it's over, is it two kilograms? Yeah, that's different. Something like that. With Royal Mail, it takes the price stupid high. So it costs like £9.80 to post with Herms. Or another courier, it depends on... Can you not crunch them in my ear? Because I don't have a very high tolerance to that, sweet boy. <laughs> Yeah, you go take them away. Yeah, it's just crazy prices. So we post, post anything with more than one product with a courier. So I've got all those. I brought them all back home with me today. Mwah. And I'm going to arrange the couriers tonight. So hopefully they'll be picked up tomorrow. But I'm so glad all that's done. Yay. Day. And then the iPhone store bags have arrived. But then the iPhone store bags have just arrived. And they're about to go on sale this weekend. So then it's going to be another crazy, crazy, crazy few days doing that. Amazing, man. And then the more weighted blankets due to arrive. And then a few days after that, my Christmas orders. Is it Christmas yet? Do you remember? Yeah, but do you remember last year? How mad it was Can you last take year. Take them in the living room. Oh my! Has anyone else got like no tolerance to how people eat? Usually, I've got good tolerance to babies because he's only a baby, and I usually don't. But, but as he's getting older, it's starting to be like no, 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 no. So close tight. that. Close that mouth when you're eating, boy. <laughs> mm, like this. I think he likes the noise. Oh. Okay. Good boy. What are you about to say? Um, do you remember how mad it was last year? Last year was our first Christmas running the stores on our own. Because before they've always been managed by someone. Yeah, but they? last year it weren't as busy. Last year we had like crazy orders. You, in fact, I did some with Isabella up at the office and it was crazy. But it was nothing like the amount of no, orders no. I've just It's done. like triple, quadrupled since last year. But we least. know what we're doing more now. And it's, yeah, yeah. And, and so we're faster at it and things. But it's still like a lot of work for It's us. amazing though. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love going up to the office and just... Uh, it is fun. And just showing away and packing and... I enjoy it like loads, but I always feel guilty because the girls are always like, do you have to go? How, how many hours will you be today? And it always makes me feel really guilty. And I have to try and explain like most parents like go out all day to work. And you guys are really lucky because I only go for like a few hours a day. And then usually you'd be at school. So you're at home. And so it's a lot better. But um, I still feel bad going. Especially when I want to be at home doing Christmas crafts. <laughs> We're about anyway, to do something pretty cool, Speaking right? of which, are we ready to go? Is everyone I'm ready to go? Hair, is it the back? It is when it's, it's been brushed. So <laughs> it's beautiful. Should we put this in a plaque? You're yeah, getting a nice little pony what? going on there, mate. No tear. No tear. No tear. Can daddy have a crispy? Can daddy have one? Oh, thank you. Can mummy have one? No, I can't have one. I love daddy. Oh, oh. daddy licks that, darling. I don't oh. want that one. You, you put it in my mouth and then you took it back. Thank you. No? I wanted to take that back. <laughs> and mama. And mama. <laughs> They're nice. Uh, not pinning. Oh, they stink. Don't touch. Come back, you, mister. One. Two. We didn't say free, mate. I'm all good. Uh, we didn't say free. <laughs> Speaking of the iPhone store and the backpack, so me and Sarah got a couple of samples about two weeks ago now, and I've been repping one since. We got the palette, which is this amazing thing, thing here. Comes with a beautiful laptop case inside and lots of pockets. It's very, very nice. We got the in. We got the all I need is space as well. And the the space is all I need. Sorry. You always get that wrong. We've got the space is all I need design, and we've got the Ingham family animation design as well. They're all going live on the iPhone store Saturday at 5 p.m. So. What night is this video? Friday night, so in a day, on from Thursday now. Thursday today? It's Thursday today. 
So Saturday night at 5 p.m. when the vlog goes live, these backpacks will go live on the iFam store. And um, we, we basically, we had the whole shipment arrive at the office today and we're really excited, but there was 11 boxes missing. So we're trying to track that with the courier, literally took forever to get through on the phone. And he was like, they're at your home address. <laughs> oh yeah. Bit weird. Some of them got delivered to the office, some of them got delivered Why to the home address. That? I don't know. Weird. Why have we got 11 massive boxes taken over our dining room right now? Because that's just the England family man and that's how we roll, right? I, did, I didn't explain about the parcels that I got to my office. So I had, let me let me tell a story. I'll have to show you guys tomorrow. Basically, I was at my office and I got a delivery. Look at the state of me, I've got dirt everywhere. Exactly. I had the delivery for, um, was it nine massive yeah. boxes? And I was like, and we oh. Thought they were these, didn't we? And we thought it were the backpacks because we knew they were due to arrive any day. And so I was like, oh, great, the backpacks have arrived. My lovely lady who works there was like, hey, Sarah, your shipment's arrived. Uh, you've got like nine huge boxes here. And I was like, only nine? And we were a bit confused about why there were only nine. But sometimes some arrives, like with the snuggle hoods, we had like all of them arrive except one box or however many, I can't remember however many it was, but some of the kids' space ones hadn't arrived and they arrived the next day. So I was like, okay, that's fine, we'll come and move them. And so we got there and we got really excited. We moved all these massive boxes up to my office and then I opened a box and it was like, what were they? They were like glass things. Like, I don't even know well, what they they're were. Not, they're not baubles, but it sort of kind of looks like some baubly type thing, doesn't it? It's like, not a bauble. Weird, yeah. I'll show you guys tomorrow when I go up to the office. But it's like these long black tube things. And I'm like, what are those? Checks the box, had all my name on it and everything. Um, baby and me, Sarah Ingham, and the address of where where my office is, delivered by DPD. And I was like, but these are not mine. <laughs> like they're not, they don't belong to me. So I called DPD, gave the reference number. They had no tracking of the reference number. And I was like, but you just dropped it off today. Like you just dropped it off. And they're like, sorry, we can't help because we don't have a tracking number. I suggest you contact your supplier and tell them they've sent you the wrong item. And I'm like, but they haven't because I don't have anybody supply with DPD. So. My supplier's not set, but I don't understand it because they do have my name on it and everything. So it is really weird. It's like a well, wherever the f it's just it's weird. It's, it's just weird. really weird. I think they came from Germany actually. Yeah, well, whoever whoever sent them from Germany must have. I don't know why would they even. But have why would they details? have my it's contact really details? Weird. It's got Germany depot like on the side. Anyway, I've ended up with. Oh wait so wait wait! Are we twinning today? Yeah, oh, we are. We're twinning oh today. Gosh, yeah, we are. Hello, England family hoodie. <laughs> Comment down below if you've got yours yet. On your Christmas I've list. seen some arrive, we've been tagged today. Anyway, yeah, I'll show you guys tomorrow what they are, but I don't know what's gone on. I've not ordered anything that would go from Germany or via Germany, so I've got no idea why they've come to me, but they have. So I've asked the lady at the office if anybody in our office, maybe, and they've just got the names wrong, but I don't even know how that could happen. It's We're a mystery. Boss, it's a mystery. Are we going anyway? We better do, Shout out the girls. So now I'm back from the office anyway. Thought we'd go for a little day, well not day out because it's evening, but a little evening out somewhere. I'm very, very excited about somewhere I really wanted to go last week, but we kind of held off going for, you know, for reasons. And now today's the day, so we're going. It's open and we're going. Jay's looking very smart with his new boots on. Let me see these crocodiles. Wow, they're so pretty. Do you like them? Ah, ah. Oh, crocodiles. Ah. Very nice. What are we pointing at now, Prini? Hello, Prini. Wait a minute, did I not put your sock on? Hang on a minute, let me see. Did I not put your sock? Daddy's a stupid. I didn't put your sock on. Right, let's put the other sock. Come here, let's put these socks back. I'll put your sock. Let's take this boot off. Daddy's silly. Daddy's stupid. Ow, ow. Oh my goodness, you guys. So you can't see anything right now because it's miserable weather. But we've just got to Tong Garden Centre. Loads of people have been saying don't go on a weekend or even like midday during the week because it's so busy. So we've decided to come like tea time a weekday and there's about two hours left, an hour and a half before closing and it's rammed, like it, it's so busy. But I'm so excited because I didn't even know it's got a massive extension built to it. So I don't know if you guys can see properly because of the window, but this whole building here is brand new. Brand new it was just the door down there oh my gosh i'm so excited i moved the car yeah, yeah i think, I gave, you the, I think I gave you the key oh my goodness look at this place wow jeez wow So, so pretty. Is that how cute it is for a girl's bedroom? 
Yeah, yeah it would. Yes. Yeah, I know what you're saying, man. You want your new bedroom to be like this. This room is £10. And not a huge room. No, it's definitely not sweet <laughs> I don't know, petal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not for the big mushroom. There is nothing more Christmassy than coming to Tom Garden Centre, and that's a fact. But you're right in the spirit. If we had like a spare room at the house, I would definitely, definitely become a collector of these. And uh, I'd keep them up all year round, like make my own little village and towns out of them. They're absolutely, they're so, so um, cute. enchanting. That's the right word. Yeah, they are. They're so enchanting, they're gorgeous. Wow, jeez. What are they? Oh yeah, like a crazy house. Yeah, like one of those fun houses. Wow, yeah, that's so cute. So cute. It's sort of like being in Disneyland, but no. That's <laughs> In. Oh, Jace, you want to get in? <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's nothing more Christmassy at Christmas than this. It's so cute. I love the ski slope. Look, yeah, check out the ski slope over there. That is amazing. We got a caravan going on. Oh look! And there's caravans all the way. That is so cool. Jay, she's just desperate to get in there. Not today, mate. As mate, this is definitely something we could get pretty for Christmas. Feel this? So squidgy. It's really nice. I love that. Reminds me of Sean the sheep, as mate. Definitely. That's really squidgy, actually. It's really nice. We should get that. Pretty needs a new bed and uh, that's going to be on her Christmas list for sure. Would that be big enough for Pretty? Yeah, yeah. Just about, probably. You want what, babe? That outside our front door? Oh, no, outside our front door. Look how nice that is. It's very, very nice. It's so I already feel like tonight it's going to get expensive. Wow. We're in the garden section. We're buying Pretty a bed. We're going to give her it now, I think, not wait till Christmas, just because she needs a new bed anyway. And it's so nice, that bed. Whilst lockdown's been happening, this place has been building out. And uh, it's... It's huge and brand new everywhere, so it's really exciting. <laughs> it's like a bit of a geek, but you know, garden centers are, are awesome anyway, but this one's really cool. Oh, these are so pretty, girls. I know. I thought we forgot my Christmas tree up. What's this I know, we, need to, we do need to do your bedroom. <laughs> Sorry. How bad. We'll do it. We'll definitely do it. Jace, what is it? Wow, we need a little tree for your bedroom. Oh, we do. <laughs> But we're looking for some decoration for outside of the house to make the outside of the house look Christmassy because the, the, the windows look really good yeah. from the outside and stuff now. But we want the garden to look good and to do boy. something with the front garden that's Christmas-esque. <laughs> You've been a cheeky boy on Esme's head. He literally loves <laughs> look up. Oh. You coming down? Uh, uh. Uh. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> it was being a cheeky boy. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. And then the Grinch, was it on the Grinch and he flies through the Christmas wrapper? Oh, yeah. You throw it in luck, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that's should I dive through? <laughs> no. Come on, it's a bad day, yeah. So we're just in, oh, the book section. I hope you guys can hear me okay. We're just in the book section. Chris and Isabel are checking out a vegan recipe book that I think we're going to buy. It looks really, really cool. It's not so expensive. And it's great for like inspiration and ideas. How many recipes are in there? A hundred? Over a hundred vegan and vegetarian recipes. And it's just what we need because we only recently turned vegetarian. We lack on inspiration sometimes. But there's some really amazing Christmas books in here that um, I might like to get. <laughs> um, the first two are these and I absolutely love these. Little people, big dreams. So it's all about famous people that made an impact, I guess, on the world. Like Muhammad Ali, David Attenborough, Stephen Hawking. Um, and it looks really, really good. Uh, let me see if I can just quickly show you. So it's kind of like an illustrated story. And then if I can get to the page. Two seconds, guys. There. And then it brings up like the actual person and who they are. It looks really, really cool. So this one's got all these people and this one's got all these. They're really lovely books. Oh my goodness! Yeah. We have to tell dad we've found a new um, replacement for Santa for our kitchen. Oh my gosh, I thought that said $19.99. And then I realized it said $199.99. No. Come on! It's way better than the Santa! Go cool, boys! <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a no. 
It's a definite no. I just showed or I just filmed that look kind of like this. Fun fact to you guys, the massive light clock that you guys see in our vlogs all the time, we always get questions saying, where's that clock from? A scene in here. Yeah, it was. Do you remember? Yeah, it was. Do you remember when we first got our house? We came here just to have a look around and there were a living room set up like that and the clock was on the back wall, the light up one. And we got them to go and take it down for us because yeah. they didn't have any left. But like, I don't think we've got any in stock. And we're like, oh my gosh, I'd love it. And they said, do you want that one? And we were like, did they? Or did they? I can't yeah, remember. No, yeah, we bought the display one, yeah. We bought the display yeah. one, I can't remember. We had to pay full, full price for it still though. I can't remember, but it was brand new, so fair enough. It would just been put on the wall. But um, yeah, so Tom Garden Centre is where our big massive clock is from that we see, you guys see on the vlogs in the kitchen. So I know that time every day. <laughs> Do you know, I actually change the clock on that, ta the time on that clock daily because I hate it when people say, oh my gosh, you're only just doing this and it says that on the clock. Oh my gosh, it's that time and you're doing this. So I always change the clock on it daily. Chris is like, what time is it? The clock says, I'm like, yeah, I changed it. <laughs> I hate people knowing and commenting like, so if anyone ever looks at the clock and thinks, oh my gosh, they're having breakfast and it's one in the afternoon, we're not. It's just not right, that clock. <laughs> the time's wrong. Anyway. Uh, here we are, we're just having breakfast at one in the afternoon, why are you lying? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're just about to head and pay now. Oh, there's some more rooms here. I miss these two. They're my favourite part of coming here. Oh, so nice. Look at that for a bedroom. That's cool, man. That's it's like, um, it's like an elf. Reminds of like a fairy, enchanted fairies. That's so cute. This is kind of cute, but not my style. What do you think? Uh, it's cold. Cold, it's yeah. Nice, it's cold. It's kind of cold. So cute though. We didn't all go in, I just ran in. Oops! And Jace came in to help me. Because after driving around Leeds, etc, etc, I think he'd got a bit tired of being sat in the car. So I took him out into ours with me to help stretch his legs and he was... Oh no! Look, this side! Yeah, so I took him in ours with me to stretch his legs and he was such a good boy helping pack the shopping. There we go in this trip. To be fair, the reason I got him this. He saw it on the end of the aisle and he went... He went, wow, mama, wow. And I was like, whoa, Jace, that's so cool. Don't touch it. And then he turned to me and went, thank you. And there were loads of shoppers there. And they all went, oh my gosh, that's the cutest thing in the whole world I've ever heard. And he just went, thank you. So it was on sale. For ten, I think it was 10 pound, 10 or 11 pound. And so we bought it. And it's a massive truck, isn't it, Jace? We're trying to get it out, look, his mate's got some scissors. He's very excited to get it out, guys, as you can see. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is the best recycling truck ever. Show it, Esme, you want to show the iPhone? Put them in the these top. ones in there. Close, Close it. it. Press the button. Press the button. Pull it. Pull. Really hard. Go. There we go again. Ready, away. Keep doing it. Again. Maybe ah. one more time. Right, open here. Open it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you put them in there and then it comes out here. That's so, so cute. cute. Does that one open now? No. <laughs> he loves it. Esme, I think we're having more fun than Jess. No. <laughs> wow. Are you going to open the door? Mm. 
Right, the time's come for somebody to get her little tree. Prinny, come here, darling. Prinny, who've been a good girl, okay? You tried to get in it. You've been a good girl. She knows it's hers. You want to go in your bed? We got you a new bed. Surprise. Go on, you can get in it. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on, Prinny. Come on. Come on, it's your bed. Good girl, it's Prinny's bed. Ah, oh, good girl. Come on. Ah, oh, it's my girl's bed. Good girl. Eat. Good girl. <laughs> no, this is Preenie's bit. Jace, what's wrong with your face? <laughs> Get that stuff cleaned up before he touches something, Mom. <laughs> oh, he already touched Preenie's bed. What did you think? Is that nice? You got a new bed. You got a comfy new bed. Good girl. Ah, oh, yeah. You were all damp from the rain outside, but you got a comfy new bed. Yeah, you got a nice new bear preenie. Good oh, girl. And you bear appreciate it. It was blooming expensive. <laughs> Prinny's definitely needed a bed upgrade for a while. And this is definitely an upgrade, right, Prin? Yeah, I like it too. I love it too. I do. Get the tag off it. Come here. Oh, good girl. Yeah, we love this bed. It's nice. It's lovely bed. Oh, it's so cute. It smell brand new. She loves it. Good girl. You can make it smell just like you if you want. Now it's your bed. Yeah. <laughs> You can hide things in it, do whatever you want. No. <laughs> anyway, babe, on that note, cup of tea time, and you want to share your advent calendar with me that you've not even opened yet? <laughs> mm -hmm. it, it was pretty cute that you did that for me, but it's not cute that you keep asking to eat them. Yes. Yeah, no, it's not. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I think it is. It definitely is. Anyway, guys, we're going to end the vlog there because we need to get this little manta bird. And uh, I need a cup of tea and a couple of these for a rochet. So thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. And we'll see you back here tomorrow for Vlogmas Day. <laughs> Look at Jason on the truck. <laughs> oh, no, he jumped off. He could, he could right. tell you wanted to see. Cheer there. Uh, you simpled it over now, haven't you? Also, check out my little poochie poochie pie. Sit next to the fire, fast asleep, loving her life right now. Good girl, pre She looks so snuggly, and I'm so glad we bought that for her. Yeah, it's really, really cute. How cute she looks, snuggled up near the fire. It's Sorry about so this lens, cute. guys. This lens is awful in this light. It's so bad, and it's so not a zoomy. It's only a wide. We hope you've had an amazing day today. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Comment below what you've been doing, and we will see you tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Good night, guys.